you're listening to the Rodney O'Hepstein Show. I'm Rodney O'Hepstein. How's it going? This is a response to a comment left on one of my YouTube uploads. It says, it's not a job if you don't get paid. He's referring to something I said about how I'm host of the Rodney Webstein Show and that's a job. All right, I'm a reasonable, broad-minded man. That's how you see things. Let me just tell you how I see things. How's that? Yeah? See what a polite guy I am? You're probably not polite. I think it's safe to assume you're not polite. I'm polite. So you should, for starters, you should learn from me. You know, don't be so fucking rude. Let me tell you a little story. This is a very important part of U.S. history. And I'm talking about real U.S. history, not the horse shit in your textbooks. Like how the original Bill of Rights included one about cruel and unusual punishment. That's ridiculous. That's fucking bullshit. The liberals put that in later. The original Bill of Rights didn't mention anything about that. That amendment was about a ban on pornography and marijuana. Yeah, that was the original amendment. Yeah, there was nothing in there about cruel and unusual punishment. Actually, there was something about cruel and unusual punishment, but it promoted it. The Founding Fathers were for cruel and unusual punishment, if used appropriately. But anyways, I was going to tell you a little story. Remember that? I got kind of sidetracked there. It happens, because I'm a constitutional lawyer. I'm a constitutional lawyer. I'm not, I mean, I'm basically a constitutional lawyer. So when you bring up the Constitution, we have to discuss that. But let's get back to the story. Yeah, I'm talking about authentic U.S. history. I'm talking about Johnny Appleseed. He was a great American. He went around the country planting apple seeds. He didn't just plant apple seeds. He pulled out all those communist fruit trees the liberals put there. And the marijuana they were growing too. He was actually traveling with Paul Bunyan. Paul Bunyan ripped out those fucking trees. He tossed them aside. And he disposed of the marijuana without burning it. He disposed of it the proper way. Johnny Appleseed grew a shitload of apple trees, like a great American. The nation ate those apples, and that led to the Industrial Revolution. Yeah, he lived up to his last name. His father wasn't even in the Appleseed business. He was a fucking porn director. You know, but Johnny Appleseed said, you know what? You're a fucking disgrace to the country, and you're violating the anti-marijuana, anti-pornography amendment. Not cruel and unusual punishment amendment. Pornography and marijuana. Don't listen to the fucking liberals. And anytime I see someone eating an apple or not smoking marijuana, I know damn well that Johnny Appleseed had a job, even though he didn't make a fucking cent.